الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My dear sweet Islam brothers and viewers of social media Let's recite salutations upon the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam As-salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulullah Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habiballah As-salatu wa salamu alayka ya Nabiyallah وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله نويت سنة الاعتكاف Excellence of conveying درود and salam it mentions in the book of call to righteousness um, the greatest Rasul صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم has stated the person closest to me on the day of judgment will be the one who have recited Salat upon me the most in the world. And this mentions Sunan Tirmizi, volume 1, page 64. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala, ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today's topic is uh, regarding an individual who used to watch a lot of movies, uh, approximately 2,000 films, VCDs, right? And this is the habit he had. And uh, many of our, some of our Islamic brothers, whether sisters, we have this habit of watching dramas. We have a habit of going to the video shops and renting video films. And when we watch these films, not only affects us, our character, our manners, but also breaks up marriages as well. So there's many side effects of watching films and dramas. Obviously, the majority of the things that are in dramas are untrue. As they're made up of lies, stories are made of lies. And people, when they're watching these films, like especially in the cinemas, action movies, they think it's reality. And sometimes when we uh, watch films, we don't know what the reality of the world is. We only seen it in the movies. So let's, before we listen to uh, this Islamic brother's story, how he changed and came closer to the Madani environment of Dawat Islami. Um, he also mentions he was rocking, watching wrong type of videos as well, which affects the heart. And, you know, a lot of us are on social media regularly. And I request Islamic brothers and sisters, uh, you know, to educate our youngsters. And obviously there are uh, potential control softwares like screen time on iOS or devices. And you'll be able to find on, on the uh, Android device as well, some apps, if you go through, that can control this content. If you don't put these content restrictions on there, then our youngsters, they will be watching filthy content, which, we, which most of the time, there are bots that send these images to our youngsters. And at a young age, our youngsters are watching this filth, and it disturbs their character, and they start to do do wrong things so some advice i like to give to parents as well inshallah do try to look into this content restriction because social media the internet is not safe for our children nowadays so here further i'm going to mention this parable dear islamic brothers and sisters and views of social media in order to develop the habit of offering salah to follow a sunnah to follow the sunnah to perform virtuous deeds and to refrain from sins, get affiliated with the Madani environment of Dawud Islami. Let me tell you a Madani parable for your persuasion. Here is a summary of a piece of writing received from an Islamic brother from Orangi town, the largest underdeveloped region of Asia. Before I joined the Madani environment of Dawud Islami, I drifted away from good deeds and was wandering in the dark valleys of sins. It was as if the satisfaction of carnal desires was the sole aim of my life. Besides watching porn, movies and dramas, I had indulged in many other evil deeds, utterly uninterested in good deeds. I was so madly addicted to movies and dramas 
that I used to buy latest VCDs for a thousand rupees. I used to be given a pocket money every month. I had collected 2,000 movies and dramas, VCDs. However, I was pre predestined to be blessed with guidance. Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal. One day, a turban-wearing devotee of Rasul came to me and conveyed the call to righteousness to me. Making individual effort, he drew my attention towards my afterlife so effectively that I was overcome with divine fear. The tower of evil habits and thoughts collapsed. Impressed with his good manners and encouraged with his individual effort, I attended the weekly sunnah inspiring ijtimas of Dawud islami the, the sunnah inspiring speech delivered during the ijtima changed the entire condition of my heart. The heart rendering dua made at the end and such a profound impact on my heart that I smashed all VCDs after I returned home. By the blessing of joining the Madani environment of Dawud Islami, I brought the audio cassette of Sunnah inspiring speeches released by Maktabatul Madina, the publishing department of Dawud Islami. I, as well as my other family members, listened to these speeches and were inspired to join the Madani environment and becoming a Qadri, a Rizavi in the spiritual order. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala, ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ranks of pious bondsmen. The Islam brothers and viewers of social media, the blessing of Sunnah inspiring ijtima cannot be expressed in words. During such an ijtima, one can attain the company of closeness and blessings of the devotees of the Rasul. In these ijtimaats, there are many beloved bondsmen of Allah who may not necessarily be very famous but can greatly benefit others. Islamic scholars have stated, if 40 righteous Muslims gather somewhere, one of them must be a wali of Allah, meaning a friend of Allah, Azza wa Jalla. And this mentioned in Fatawa Rizwiya, volume 24. The Holy Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has stated, there are many such people who have tousled hair, dusty body, and two pieces of old clothes, and who are not cared about. If they swear to Allah Azawajal, then Allah Azawajal fulfills what they swear. And Bara bin Malik radiyallahu anhu is from amongst the very same people. And here's a couplet he mentions, O Almighty, I am worthless and virtually, virtueless bondman. And make me righteous bondman by the blessing of your virtuous bondman. Ameen, bijahin nabiyil, ameen, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So my dear Islam brothers, as you can see from this waqiyah, that we learn that a person who watched dramas and VCDs, and by an individual effort, by a mubalik of Dawud Islami, by a Muslim, he invites him, you know, through his individual effort, to the weekly sunnah inspiring ijtima. Now obviously we've heard about our, you know, one of the brothers called Ansar, who visited, who came to the weekly sunnah inspiring ijtima, and he's no longer with us anymore. He has returned to Allah. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. So may Allah give his ability to invite other Islamic brothers to the weekly sunnah inspiring ijtima. I personally didn't know this individual, but I saw him at the ijtima. And as I was making clips as well, mashallah, and he was making dua. And that clip got recorded and alhamdulillah afforded to many Islamic brothers. And uh, just as I was at home as well, my son, eight-year-old son, Abdul Hanan, and he said I had a discussion with him. And he said that I know your father. And then Abdul Hanan said I had a meal with him as well. He was on the opposite direction. After the ijtima, there was Langar Sharif, and he was opposite Abdul Hanan as well. And Abdul Hanan was asking me so many questions about him, and I couldn't answer them. So may Allah bless this brother, the highest rank in paradise. May Allah give his family sabr jameel and may Allah make the matters of tadfeen easy for the brother. And inshallah, may Allah give us a reflection. This is a silent message for us. Obviously, people are dying. They are leaving from this world. We could be next. We could be one of those people who depart from this world as well. So this is a, you know, amazing that I managed to record him. And uh, this is uh, the angels as they are going to be witnessing. And when people say good things about him, Inshallah, this will benefit him in the grave as well.
الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين جزا الله عنا محمد ما هو أهله بسم الله على ديني بسم الله على نفسي وولدي وأهلي ومالي يا الله عز وجل accept our salat al-zuhur accept this short dars if I made any mistakes ya Allah azza wa jal I ask forgiveness give us true amal of the deen and give us ability to keep inviting Islam brothers to the path of deen O oh Allah azza wa jal enlighten our hearts with the nur of salah nur of sending salutations upon the beloved and blessed prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam protect our iman and protect the iman of our children many buzurgs many Islam brothers who have attended the jamaat today our brother Dawood Ya Allah bless him and give him istiqamat in deen. Ya Allah Azawajal and many other Islamic brothers who have requested for dua. Our, our uncle Majid Sahib he is one of his son. Uh, he is requesting for special dua for Ulad. Ya Allah Azawajal bless his son uh, with Naik Narina Ulad. Ya Allah Azawajal bless our Muslim brothers and sisters in Kashmir, Palestine, Bayt al-Maqaddas, Masjid al-Aqsa. Those who are, uh, who are pressing them, guide them. Ya Allah, if there's no guidance for them, disgrace them. Disgrace the social media, the fake news, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give us unity and give our leaders the ability to wake up and to uh, resolve the human rights, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, that Palestine is facing. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, bless our youngsters who have become orphans. Ya Allah, give them uh, protection and give them Messiah above their heads. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, and those parents who have gone from this dunya, Ya Allah grant them the highest level of paradise. O oh Allah Azawajal bless Brother Ansar who has passed away. Ya Allah Azawajal, he attended the weekly sunnah inspiring ijtama. He made dua in your court, Ya Allah Azawajal. Ya Allah, with the blessing of this dua, forgive us, forgive him, and give him bakshish in the grave and make his accountability easy. Bless his children, Ya Allah. Give them the ability to come in the mahal of Dawud Islami and grant all of his family members to come closer to Dawud Islami. Ya Allah Azawajal bless all our Muslim brothers and grant them death with Iman. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahmatika.